What's the fastest thing you can think of in the universe? Most of us might quickly answer, light. And for a long time that's what we've been taught, light, the messenger of the cosmos, racing through the universe at a staggering 186,000 miles per second. It's so fast that it can circle the Earth seven and a half times in just one second. But let's put this into perspective. Consider a thunderstorm. When lightning strikes we see the flash almost instantly, but the thunder arrives much later. Why is that? Well it's because light travels faster than sound. The light from the lightning reaches our eyes long before the sound of the thunder reaches our ears. This difference in speed between light and sound is something we can easily observe. But when it comes to the cosmos, understanding speed becomes a bit more challenging. It's easy to say that light is the fastest thing, but what does that really mean in the vastness of the universe? The great physicist Albert Einstein pondered this question. After much thought and calculation, he came to a profound conclusion. Nothing can travel faster than light. This idea, which became a cornerstone of his theory of relativity, radically transformed our understanding of space, time, and the universe itself. But here's the kicker. Are there really no exceptions to this cosmic speed limit? As it turns out, the universe might be full of surprises. Some phenomena in the cosmos seem to challenge Einstein's conclusion. Could there be things that move faster than light? Well, to explore this intriguing idea, we'll need to delve deeper into the mysteries of the universe. In the coming scenes, we'll journey through space, visit distant galaxies, and even dive into the weird world of quantum mechanics. We'll encounter concepts that might stretch your imagination, but that's the beauty of exploring the universe. It's full of wonder and mystery. So, buckle up, and let's set off on this cosmic journey. Einstein concluded that nothing travels faster than light, but are there really no exceptions? Let's find out. And let's look at the distances in space. Imagine for a moment that you could drive your car straight to the moon. At a steady speed of 60 miles per hour, it would take you about six months to get there. Now consider the light from our sun. It dances across 93 million miles of space to reach our planet in just over eight minutes. That's how fast light travels. But let's go further. The nearest star system to us, Alpha Centauri, is about four light years away. In layman's terms, the light we see from Alpha Centauri today actually left its source four years ago. So when we gaze at the stars, we're essentially looking at a celestial history book, seeing the universe as it was years, centuries, or even millennia ago. The vastness of space and the speed of light set the stage for some mind-boggling phenomena. 16-year-old Einstein had a dream that would change our understanding of the universe. Picture a young Albert Einstein, fascinated by the mysteries of light. One day, he dreams he's racing a beam of light, keeping pace with it as it travels through space. This thought experiment, this dream, would lay the groundwork for one of the most groundbreaking theories in physics. Einstein pondered on his dream, asking, what if I could ride a beam of light at its speed, what would I see? This curiosity led him towards the development of the theory of relativity, a theory that revolutionized our understanding of space, time, and gravity. At the heart of this theory is the notion that the speed of light is constant. It doesn't matter if you're standing still or moving at breakneck speed, light always seems to travel at the same speed. It's not like a gust of wind that can speed up an object or slow it down. No, light marches on at its own steady pace, unbothered by the movement of the observer or any other external factors. This idea, born from a young boy's dream, challenged centuries of scientific thought. It painted a new picture of the universe, one where time can slow down, space can bend, and nothing, absolutely nothing, can travel faster than light. Einstein's theory of relativity formed a cornerstone of modern physics. Did you know that the universe is expanding? Yes, you heard it right. It's much like a balloon being blown up, except this balloon is all of space-time, and it's growing larger every second. But what's even more fascinating is that it's not just expanding, it's accelerating in its expansion. Now to understand this better, let's talk about the Doppler effect. You've probably noticed it when an ambulance passes by. At first the siren's pitch seems high, but as it passes and moves away, the pitch lowers. That's the Doppler effect. The change in frequency or wavelength of a wave in relation to an observer who is moving relative to the wave source. But the Doppler effect isn't just about sound, it also applies to light. When a galaxy is moving away from us, its light appears more red or red-shifted, due to the Doppler effect. The further away a galaxy is, the faster it's moving away from us, and the more its light is red-shifted. This brings us to Hubble's Law, 
named after the astronomer Edwin Hubble. He discovered that the speed at which galaxies are moving away from us is proportional to their distance. In other words, the further a galaxy is, the faster it's receding. And here's the kicker. Some galaxies are moving away from us faster than light can travel. That's right. The universe's expansion speed is one phenomenon that surpasses the speed of light. Let's travel back in time to the very beginning of the universe. Brace yourselves, we're about to dive into a mind-bending concept. The inflation of the early universe. This wasn't your everyday run-of-the-mill expansion. It was an explosive burst of growth that took place in the blink of an eye. Imagine for a moment that the universe started as a speck smaller than an atom. Now, in a fraction of a second, faster than you can snap your fingers, it expanded to over a centimeter in diameter. That's right, from less than an atom to larger than a marble, almost instantaneously. This phenomenal speed of expansion far exceeded the speed of light, shattering our everyday conceptions of speed. But how is this possible when nothing is supposed to move faster than light? Well, it's because space itself was expanding, not objects moving through space. It's a bit like two points on a balloon moving apart as the balloon inflates. They're not actually moving, the space between them is expanding. This period of rapid expansion known as inflation set the stage for the universe as we know it. It ironed out any wrinkles in the fabric of space-time, leading to the smooth flat universe we observe today. Inflation is another phenomenon that occurred at a speed faster than light. Quantum mechanics introduces concepts that challenge our conventional understanding of speed. Now let's delve into the fascinating realm of quantum mechanics, particularly the concept of entanglement. Imagine a pair of particles that have interacted and become entangled. No matter how far apart they are, a change in one particle instantly affects the other. This happens faster than light could possibly travel between them, suggesting that some information travels instantaneously. This puzzled many scientists including Albert Einstein, he was skeptical and referred to it as spooky action at a distance. He couldn't reconcile this with his theory of relativity which dictates that nothing can travel faster than light. But experiments have confirmed time and again that quantum entanglement is real, even if we don't fully understand why or how it works. Quantum mechanics and entanglement have more than just theoretical implications, they're driving the development of quantum computers which promise to revolutionize computing. Companies like IBM and Google are at the forefront of this technology, harnessing the power of entanglement to perform complex calculations at unprecedented speeds. While we're still grappling with the mysteries of quantum mechanics, it's clear that it's shaking up our understanding of the universe and speed. We're beginning to see that the universe in its fundamental nature might not adhere to the speed limits we're familiar with. Quantum entanglement suggests that information can travel instantaneously, faster than light. And that's a mind-boggling thought to ponder. What does all this mean for the future of space exploration? Well, there's a lot to consider. The vast distances between stars and planets make traveling to them a daunting task, even at the speed of light. Yet, the ceaseless march of scientific progress gives us hope. Space agencies around the world, like NASA, ESA, and more, are constantly developing new technologies to push the boundaries of what's possible. Private companies such as SpaceX and Blue Origin are also joining the race, advancing the future of space travel with their groundbreaking work. The dream of reaching distant stars and planets, once confined to the realm of science fiction, is inching closer to reality. As we continue to explore and understand the intricacies of our universe, we may one day overcome the speed barrier that light presents. Who knows, maybe one day we'll be able to travel faster than light. Until then, keep exploring, and don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating space topics on Nico's channel.